Hello modding neighbors. I'm here for a little quick video. Just want to say a uh, little apologies for uh, the delay on, on this video. I've been quite busy and had to reformat the computer and whatnot. But uh, today I am here to show you guys how to make a dynamic day night cycle. It's not the one that's in the game. No. Uh, that one uses it on uh, different levels instead. So every time that you respawn, it just spawns a different skybox. Uh, or, sorry, sky sphere and changes the intensity of the lights and whatnot. But uh, I found this one pretty cool and it's super easy to do. So let's get right into it. So. First things first, you're going to need to, if, it's, if this is a brand new level, you're going to have to add a sky sphere. And if you're using one that's already got one, well then, no worries. Just uh, make sure that within the sky uh, sphere, you have your directional light that is uh, linked up to here. Uh, next thing is you're going to need a directional light. Uh, mine's called light source in here. Um, the one thing is that when you place a direction light, it will be on static. So just change it to movable. And the next thing is you're going to want to open up your level blueprint. And with the directional light selected, we're going to right click and create a reference to it in the level blueprint and then with the sky sphere selected we're going to do the same thing now the sky sphere if we write sun this will update the sun and then this guy here we're going to write set actor and we're going to take rotation connect the two pins. Uh, once that is done, we're going to add a timeline. Call it day night cycle. Connect the update pin. Alright, so just for testing purposes, I'm going to put it to 24 seconds. You guys can put whatever you want. Uh, uh, check the autoplay as well as the loop and then we'll add a float track I'm going to call it sun rotation now right click add curve key and let's add a second one on the first one put it to zero time negative 180 and on the second one I'm going to put it to our 24 seconds up there and put it to positive 180. Let's just make sure everything's fine. All right, we're good. Let's compile, Let's save, which is going to take a while for me. I got a bunch of stuff in here. All right, so once that's done, we go back to our event graph and we will go over here and on the new rotation, right click and split struck pin then take your sun rotation and connect it to the pitch compile and I should have done the save at this point go back to our level and press play and there you have it your own movable sun cool all right so I think I'm going to leave it at that for today. Uh, if you guys got any questions, do not hesitate to ask me. Uh, probably the next video, I was thinking of maybe doing one on setting up the neighbor, which uh, a lot of people have been questioning about. And maybe afterwards, right now I'm working on a cinematic one, but it's going to be pretty intensive and pretty long, so I was thinking maybe uh, uh, breaking it down into a couple parts. Oh, and last little thing, if you guys click on your sky sphere, 
and you change the cloud speed to like five and the stars to one, you'll actually get to see the stars uh, once the, the sun goes down under the map, which is really, really cool. But uh, yeah, all right, I'm going to leave it at that. And uh, yeah, thanks.